and welcome! My name is Luigi from Bluestacks and today let's take a look on the top 5 characters you can pick on AFK Arena. If you're familiarized with any gacha game, you know how important it is to build a team to face any situation. And it's no different with AFK Arena, where most of the combat is automatic, so it's very important to build a good team. In this sense, you always want to keep a formation of strong heroes equipped with the best equipment and leveled up to the max. But the question still remains, what are the best units in the game? Fear not! Today I'll talk about 5 heroes you can build your team around. So without further ado, let's jump right in! Lucius is amazing for the early game, since it grants your party the resilience necessary to push past challenges that are even above your power level, ideal for standing on the front lines absorbing most of the enemy damage. He's a massive powerhouse whose true utility is not in the damage he inflicts, but in the positive effects he brings to the party. His main skill, for example, Heaven Protection, is a powerful barrier that shields his allies and himself, as it allows your team to press through battles that would prove too difficult otherwise. So if you invest your time and resources in this guy, you'll notice an improvement in your resistance and durability. It's a nimble rogue that excels in dealing burst damage to a small group of enemies. She quickly pierces her enemies with enchanted arrows that destroy anyone and anything in the way. Those that survive are left frozen, crippled and unable to defend themselves. Her ultimate skill, Hail of Arrows, unleashes a volley of 10 arrows into the air, which rain upon random foes, dealing 80% damage to each enemy. The true power of this skill is to target a single enemy. So for example, a good idea is to save her ultimate to the boss and then unleash it to hit with all the arrows, dealing 800% damage. This makes Area the ultimate boss killer. Like Lucius, Hogan is a tank, however, he has a different approach to tanking. Instead of granting barriers and healing his allies, Hogan have a huge health pool, coupled with skills that incapacitate his foes. After all, an enemy that's stunned or dazed is an enemy that cannot attack, and what better way to tank than to not receive any damage at all, right? His ultimate skill, Knight's Fury, is a heavy swing of his blade, with enough force to leave his foes dazed for several seconds, as the other characters completely obliterate them. It's a powerful support DPS character that can hit all enemies, as well as shield allies from harm. She excels in the middle slot of the back row, from where her fiercy phoenix can hit all her foes. And while they don't do much damage, their effects add up and will soften enemies up for the other units to deal with. Shimura is a debuffer that can cast many spells to debilitate and damage her foes. Her ultimate, Torture Souls, summon damaging spirits from beyond that deal damage to all enemies. She can convert 50% of all damage done by this skill to heal her HP. Meanwhile, her silent skill can greatly increase your survivability by preventing enemies from casting skills, including the most damaging moves that can easily wipe out your party. In fact, many of her skills rely on her health as they do more damage the more HP she has. So for this reason, you should always keep her in the back row far away from danger. One of the best parts of creating a good team in AFK Arena is that you get most of what you need early on. And with the characters I presented here, you can face most of the challenges the game has to offer in the beginning. But that's it for now, and remember, if you want to try AFK Arena, make sure to download it and play on Bluestacks, link for it is in the description down below. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, see you next time, bye bye!